Hey, it's Old Christopher coming to you with another video here. CoreLogic there, uh, looking back at July 2020 compared to July 2019, and home prices went up around the country about 5.5%. And actually, just in the last in the month of July, home prices went up about 1.1%. It's just further validation about the housing market and what's going on right now. But what is interesting is what CoreLogix talks about going into the future. They're predicting that home prices are only going to rise on a national level around 0.6% in the next year. Interesting to know their methodology behind this. I've read their methodology on their report and I, I'm just trying to figure out how they're going to get to this number. The point is, is that there are markets that could suffer in the next year. And I actually agree with that because there's some markets that depending on the regulations in the, in the city, depending on you know, around COVID, depending on um, how urban they are, if more people are moving to the suburban areas, I see all kinds of conflicting information that's being put out saying people aren't moving out of the cities, don't listen to this. Well, they are more than they were before. And there's always this shift happening as people get older, they get married, they want to have kids, they want to then move into a more open space, and this is being accelerated with COVID. I've talked about this a hundred times, same story, um, nothing's changed there. How that's going to affect those markets and how the suburban markets are going to buoy the overall housing market will be interesting because the way I look at it, if they're saying that home prices are only going to go up 0.6%, then there's going to be some markets that are going to suffer. They're predicting that Las Vegas is going to go down by 7.8%. They're predicting a very high confidence that Miami, uh, Lake Charles, Louisiana, Prescott, Arizona, which is interesting because I don't believe that because I know a lot of people that are moving to Prescott anecdotally. Some of these other markets that they High, they have a high confidence score are going to go down that's going to pull down the overall price appreciation real estate's local so looking at things on a national level that just gives you a little bit of a snapshot but you really need to be looking at, at, at things on a local level and what's happening in your local market if you live in a rural or suburban area that has a great live work play environment we call that hipsterbia environment you're going to do well and continue to do well and those are going to be great markets to invest in i have never seen more money flooding into the sfr space as i ever before as i said in my last post so it's really interesting to see how the home price is going to play out it's giving some fodder to those who are saying hey the house values are going to crash well in some markets they may they were either overheated or Maybe they're not the best place that people want to live and maybe there are people are moving to other areas. I don't know when this COVID thing is going to end. You know, they're talking about vaccines coming out, but, but what does that really mean? Um, who's going to be the first to take the vaccines? There's still a lot of heartache going on in the commercial real estate world. There's still a lot of heartache happening in those who don't have a step down housing, who are going from an apartment to what? Because they've lost their jobs and, and restaurants are still struggling. I can say where I live, which is more of a resort town, um, talking to many of the businesses that I visit and the people that I know that own businesses here, they're having some of the best summers they've ever had. Restaurants are still struggling a little bit if they don't have good outdoor space or they're not being innovative. I can tell you us as locals, we haven't been really going out into the our city, if you could even call it that too much. We've been kind of keeping to ourselves, going camping, doing things like that. How is that going to change during the ski season? What's going to happen in the ski season in Colorado? That's another interesting aspect. So. I hate using the term new normal, but there is going to be a new normal in a sense that certain industries are gonna thrive, certain economies are gonna thrive, and others that were thriving before aren't gonna do very well. Um, you're looking at places like New York and Chicago, and even get into Portland and where the riots are and Wisconsin, things are changing, especially in real estate. So it'll be fun to see. Um, I appreciate you watching the video. Please let me know if there's anything you'd like to talk about. Please leave a comment. If you don't agree with me, I'd love to hear about it. Thanks.